Alright, today I'm going to be doing a, basically just an in-depth review and uh, just showing you what all is on and everything of the Crossman Phantom 1000. Uh, it's uh, the, it, it, there is another model, 1000X, but it comes with a scope, and this is not that model. This is just the 1000 with iron sights. Um, it's a very, very good gun, a very quality build. Uh, you know, obviously, as you can tell, it's a synthetic stock. A very nice rubber butt on it um, the trigger on this thing is somewhat unusual but I actually like it a lot more uh, it's on safety right now so you know when you've got your finger in here you cannot pull that trigger I mean you just can't and even if you did it, it won't let you pull it and so when you're ready to shoot you're ready all you have to do is that and it's off safety so I like that feature a lot um, obviously it's, it's a brake barrel, um, the sights, uh, I don't know if you can see them all that well, but they glow on it, you've got your, uh, adjustable rear sights that are red, and your front sight, it's a fixed sight, and it's green, and, uh, so it's very, very nice iron sights on it. Uh, very very good feel to it very durable I've not had anything come loose with it um, I really like it I mean like I said it's a very very cheap gun uh, 80 bucks at Walmart I actually had it for 85 but if you go if you order it on the site at Walmart it's 80 <clears throat> and uh, by far like I say the cheapest quality gun you can get uh, there's the you can get like a, a Gamo Big Cat that's a, it's a 1200 feet per second just like this one. This one is 1200 feet per second with alloy pellets. Now with regular crossmans like these, uh, it's going to be about 1000 to 1100, but you know, still plenty of power. But the, the Big Cat is like $150 and it's no better in my opinion. Uh, it might come with a scope, but even then it's still... I mean, it's still 70 extra dollars for a scope. And uh, I, I think you would definitely like it. I do not regret it. One thing that I, gives an example of the accuracy. Obviously, you want a longer barrel for accuracy. And this is it compared to a 270, 243, and a 22 Magnum. And as you can tell, it has the longest barrel out of any of them. It's, it's pretty even with the... 270 but it is just a tad bit taller and uh so obviously you want a very long barrel for accuracy and it does um i have killed a water moccasin with it and it uh and i was shooting it while it was swimming away so it's very accurate and has a lot of power um i'll be i'll probably be posting some videos of me uh snake hunting with it pretty soon i've got a very large ditch close to my house and there's always water moccasins and copperheads down there. So I'll do a video of that. And uh, these pellets, if I can get them open. They are... Uh, man. Crossman pellets. They're just the regular uh, with the, the points on them. Really the points are for accuracy and speed. You'd probably want a hollow point or uh, the Crossman destroyers for uh, hunting. But these are very very good and they would still do very well for hunting they're just they've got the little tip on them and very small but effective pellets i definitely recommend that um i don't think you'd go wrong with this gun i mean it's very durable and there's just there's really nothing to it i mean you know the safety's right here by the trigger so it's not something all up here and something that could go wrong from there to the trigger it's right next to it a uh, very comfortable lightweight gun. I mean, you know, I mean, you could you could easily shoot it and hold it steady with one hand if you needed to. And um, I really like it. So if y'all want me to do any other videos of it, and I'll post a video of me snake hunting with it, tell me. But uh, just tell me what you think.